Mary Ellen Avery was growing up in Camden, New Jersey, her next door neighbor, a doctor, took her to see a premature baby. This event started Mary Ellen's lifelong interest in newborn babies and would result in one of the most significant discoveries in pediatrics. Mary Ellen received her medical degree in 1952 from Johns Hopkins University where she was one of four women in a class of 90. Shortly after getting her degree, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis. During her recuperation, she became interested in how the lungs work. While working nights in the delivery room at the Boston Lying Inn, she saw many premature babies struggling to breathe. Then in the late 1950s, she worked as a research fellow in a lab at the Harvard School of Public Health. While performing autopsies on babies who died from breathing disorders, she noticed many of them had no residual air in their lungs. Mary Ellen Avery discovered that premature infants did not have a foamy fluid in their lungs which lowers surface tension and allows the lungs to inflate. This discovery led to the development of a treatment for respiratory distress syndrome in newborns. It is credited with saving the lives of hundreds of thousands of premature babies.